Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So, I log on to Twitter today and I see a lot of stuff trending about riots happening in New York and I go and it's not what I expected at all. It's some streamer, YouTuber personality named Kai Sinat who trying to do a giveaway of some kind and a bunch of people showed up. I don't think all of them were his fans, despite him having quite a large fan base. You know, it's the middle of summer and I mean, I don't know about y'all, but everything's kind of expensive, and I'm kind of bored, so I imagine they'd be bored too. You hear someone's giving away stuff in the park, and yeah, I mean, I'd go down there. And I only heard about the guy a few weeks ago because of some post on Twitter about which of these YouTubers had the biggest cultural impact, and I couldn't recognize anybody on the screen. But I think that's more of an age thing than anything. Again, he's got, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers and subscribers, so nothing about his fan base or anything like that. Regardless, you try to do something nice, people show up and a couple people act dumb, it spreads like a contagion. I mean, it's a riot. That's, that's what happens with most riots, to be honest. Um, I'll, I'll give people the argument that, you know, there are politically motivated riots that happen where, you know, people feel like an unjust thing happened, but this is more like a sports riot. You know, whether the team won or lost, people are going to flip over cars and break stuff and, you know. So, he is getting charged with inciting a riot. Now, that's, yeah, like, he didn't mean for that to happen, of course. Nobody plans for something like that to happen. He wanted to give stuff away and have a good time. But, you got to be held responsible when things do get out of hand. You know, when you're holding events like that, you have to get permits and stuff to have that many people. And I'm sure he didn't expect that many people to show up. But, you know, it happened. So, you gotta take responsibility somewhere. I don't think he should have to pay for all the damages that happened. But, you know, you did kind of incite a riot, you know, offhandedly. Now, all of this aside... <laughs> You know, I see this inciting a riot, charged, whatever, and I thought this was about the Trump stuff. You know, he's getting, or he was indicted for the, uh, on a, like, criminal charge for the inciting a riot on January 6th. This did happen with the impeachment thing, but that's not, like, a criminal charge. Those are separate things if you didn't realize that. But, anyway... If you compare these two things side by side, and you think that, you know, what Kai did was inciting a riot, there's no way you can say that what Trump did wasn't, you know? Like, he had his event at his one place, you know, he did hold a rally with permits and all that. That part I'm not so much concerned about the first speech part of his day. But then, you tell people to go to the Capitol, and then in his words... He said, fight like hell. Like, that's sending a group of people who you've already kind of like hyped up with a political rally. I mean, what's the purpose of a political rally other than to hype people up? And then you send them to a place with, you can say it was an order or not, but you told people to fight like hell. So, on the one hand, you get someone who basically held a block party that got out of hand. And on the other, you have someone who sent a group of politically motivated people to a place where a political proceeding was happening and told them to fight. If you want to say that the first guy should be charged with inciting a riot, you cannot say that Trump shouldn't be either. But, you know, I, you know, rioting's bad <laughs> most of the time. Again, this seems, for Kai, it seems like a sports-type riot. For, you know, major political, moral decisions, stuff like that, there's instances where you can say rioting is justified. You know, the whole, the voice of the unheard. But when you're trying to give away stuff and it gets out of hand, you're going to get charged. And... When you send people to disrupt a political proceeding, I think you should get charged. Both of this is inciting a riot. It's just one was more fun than the other.
So, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens out of this. I don't think that Kai's going to, like, serve jail time or anything like that. He'll probably just have to pay fines or whatever. But, you know, as far as Trump goes, I'm still waiting for the stuff out of Georgia. That's the thing I really think is going to damn him. But, I mean, in my opinion, he didn't incite a riot. I don't know what you think, but I guess until we get more news out of that, I'll try to have a good day.